So, hi, um, I am Merlin, and I am a board member of Hackerspace Hen, Ghent, and I am going to talk about how we manage our community. So, the first version of Hackerspace Ghent started 10 years ago, and we had only two rules. Be excellent to each other and decide everything by consensus. We thought common sense would solve all other problems, but we were incredibly wrong. The, after four years, our hackerspace was on the brink of destruction because of internal conflict. A lot of people were leaving for other hackerspaces and there were even talks about forking the hackerspace and stuff like that. So, as a last ditch effort, we started the Hack the Hackerspace workshops. Basically, workshops to create a system for our hackerspace, for our community, um, that gets the best out of people. So, as a result, we created the Hackerspace Blueprint. Um, this is a small book that explains how our community works and how we solve problems. And it's available online for free, it's also open source. And I hope that um, if you're interested, uh, that you go to the URL hackerspace.design and that you read it in and that you can maybe use some of the ideas to solve problems in your own communities. This is the most important slide in my entire presentation, hackerspace.design. Go there in your browser and read the book. So I'm now going to talk about, we've been using this system for six years and what are some of the lessons learned. The first thing is a duocracy. Specifically about a duocracy is that you do not need the opinion of everyone who is affected by your action. If you are the person who does something, then you are the person who decides how it should be done. Even if you're not the most competent person, even if, if your, your, what you are going to do is not the best solution, you can still decide to do that without um, getting the opinion of everyone else. The second thing is interpersonal conflict. This is a big issue in communities. This is the, one of the main reasons why communities explode. We as human beings have this natural tendency to try to ignore interpersonal conflict as long as it doesn't uh, involve us ourselves. But this is a really bad thing because we hope that interpersonal conflict will solve itself, but it almost never does. So how do you actually solve this? The first thing is that you have to have people responsible to monitor and solve interpersonal conflict. Literally assign people them. In our hackerspace, this is the role of the board. The second thing is that if interpersonal conflict happens, first use the private talk pattern. Talk with the individuals privately and discuss the issues directly and without blame. And then after you've talked with everybody, take the, put them together and have also a private conversation with all the involved parties and moderate it. We've been doing this for six years and every single time when we tried it, it actually succeeded in solving the issues. But it's very important that you make people responsible to do this, otherwise nobody will. The second thing is rules and loopholes. So one of the issues with being a hacker is that you're incredibly good at finding loopholes. So running a hacker community using rules is an incredibly bad idea. What's better is to actually motivate people to do the right thing. Create a culture where everybody works in the best interest of the hackerspace, not because they're forced to, but because they actually want to. If you see people who are not doing that, you can talk to them, you can coach them, and if they refuse to actually do that, just kick them out. These kind of people, whatever they contribute to your hackerspace, they will take away more than they contribute. The third thing is meetings. Meetings is also a really big issue in a duocracy because meetings give power to the people with opinions. And we do not want that. We want to give power to the people who actually do stuff. So the best meeting is no meeting. Do as, as little meetings as possible. Thanks, this is the, the second most important slide in my presentation because it has the URL again. Go to hackerspace.design, send me an email, if you want to talk to me in person, you can also come to the HSBE assembly. And uh, I think tomorrow I will do a much longer talk in the assembly to explain more parts of the hackerspace blueprint. Thank you. Thank you.